Hey everybody, it's Captain Kyle and I'm here with a black Optimus Prime knockoff counterfeit fake. But he's cool. There was an official release of a black Optimus Prime put out by Takara some time ago. Like, some time ago, like many years. But if you missed out on that one or if it's too expensive for you to get an original, this might be a good substitute. But I'm gonna go through this guy, we'll see how he stacks up to, well, he's the exact same size as Optimus Prime, but we're gonna see if he's got the quality and see if he's cool. Be right back. So these go for about $50 on AliExpress. Might find other deals on eBay. I'll put a couple links for you in the description, but considering they wanted 55 for a Optimus reissue at Walmart, that didn't even have a trailer. It's not a bad deal. Let's see if it's quality. Now, the box looks beautiful. It looks very G1. Had the decoder on there. Yes, I opened it because I wanted to put the stickers on it. So there's a couple I left off and I'll tell you why in a little bit. But it has the classic G1 look on the back. It's got the tech spec, which that's a copyright infringement because these are written by Bob Budiansky and you know they just rewrote them. Normal pictures on the sides and it's obviously showing the red Optimus Prime the normal colored one in all the artwork and pictures but it's black on the inside so let's open her up and take a look. Now there it is inside the styrofoam. It did come with stickers which I did apply most of them. It has instructions, a tech spec decoder, all that stuff. It has accessories, a hose. And let's see if we can get them out of the box. He's not the easiest spot to get out. Now as with just about every single counterfeit knockoff that I review, it didn't have the rub sign. I had to put it on. It was included. It did have the factory stickers on the trailer. It didn't have the factory stickers going along the front and they're actually starting to peel a little bit so the adhesive is not the best. I did put the factory stickers over the silver and it does look really good on the black having that silver stripe, but let's hope they stay in place. I mean, there's not too much to be said as far as it is Optimus Prime now, unlike a lot of the reissues, though I don't think that happened with the Walmart reissue. The stacks have not been shortened, so that's a good thing. The chrome is very chromey. We like that. Chrome wheels. Feels nice and die cast. It rolls pretty freely, just like an actual original Optimus Prime. And so the cab is pretty good here. The trailer, again, it's all in black, which is a little bit reminiscent of generation two, but it has the G1 stickers. It does have the little stabilizers that can come out. These are also black and not blue. You can actually push them forward, which I don't know if everyone is aware that it has that capability, but just if you want the trailer there, but you don't want it leaning forward, you can flip those around to the front and it's a bit more stable. Now inside, I have already placed Roller, who I assembled who is upside down because, you know, he was in the package and it got jostled around a bit. He is entirely in black. The missiles are black. They don't seem to want to go in very easily and we'll talk about that in a moment. Everything is black that can be black. The stickers are the normal stickers. I applied those on the inside, but otherwise, except for the canopy, which of course is clear, though this is got an orange tint. The original might have had blue or just been totally clear but it does open so you can put a Diaclone driver in there. Not that it comes with any, but it's just being true to the roots of the actual toy in the Diaclone line. So we have Roller on the launch pad and we press the button in the back and he goes, just to kind of show you from another angle. He goes at a pretty violent exit from the vehicle. But the spring-loaded stuff is there. Now, I did have trouble attaching the hose. It can go in one side, but it's too thick on the other side for either the nozzle or the base. And to be honest, rolling roller around with a hose dragging around, that's not my idea of a good time. So we'll just leave roller as is. But the trailer base is there. You can swivel somewhat at least in one direction. He does have the missiles plugged in here. Now, like I said, they didn't want to go in. You sometimes have to manipulate the little levers, but let's see about launching missiles. Yeah, this one didn't get too far. This one, that was kind of pathetic. Now, again, I don't see too many people who would be purchasing this, being all that concerned about the missiles, but there you go. They kind of launch. 
They're not the best launchers in the world. Hell, so you don't lose them, you might want to just glue them. But there's the trailer. Let's take a look at the bot. And by the way, before we make him into a bot, we need his accessories. There is the full sprue of six missiles, in case you lose some. There's the leftover sprue from the wheels that I put on roller, which popped very easily into place. He has got the thick version of the gun, and it's kind of got a little attachment down here. I think that just comes off. It's kind of a sprue thing. And then he's got black fists instead of blue. Regular Optimus Prime fists are blue. The gun's black, so. Again, you can see the stickers coming off, so might want to glue them down better, use some kind of adhesive, or get some repro ones from one of the many repro sites that are out there. But the cab, you've already seen that. Now, he transforms like Optimus Prime. Legs down, toes up, open up the arms. It's actually pretty easy to transform. He's not that stiff. Bring around the head, and there you go. Now, the inner glass seems to be maybe lightly tinted orange-ish where it's just clear and it's just the lighting. It looks pretty clear to me. So he's in his bot mode. Let's attach the fists if they don't go flying. So I push in the fists and they seem a little bit loose. Put in his gun. Now these do not have the extruded tops, but yeah, the fists themselves are a little bit loose and the gun, in order to get it sick, you need to push it all the way down in there, which means you have to do the classic Optimus Prime pose of having it not pointed forward. That's no fun. There's ways to fix that though. We'll see if this works. Scissors and tape. We're gonna take some tape. We are going to put it around the post very carefully. Okay, it doesn't have to be that careful. It's tape for God's sakes, but we want to wrap it around so that it can thicken up that just a little bit and then we trim off the excess. This sometimes works. You can always try a coating of super glue on there if uh, you want something more permanent. But with tape, if you mess up, it's pretty easy to fix. So let's see after we put that on there, if we can push that in and it's a very stiff fist. Very cool. By the way, the stickers are normal. You can see the stickers I didn't put on toward the Autobot symbols because I'm not sure if I'm going to have this Black Optimus Prime be an Autobot or a Decepticon be a Nemesis Prime in a G1 version. So I'm trying the same thing with the gun, wrapping tape around the handle, trimming off the excess, and we'll see if that fits any better into his fist. Might have to put it in the fist first. So it does help a bit. Problem is with the handle, you can kind of see it from the side. It's not the best looking thing. So maybe a crazy glue solution might be a better thing. Just coat it with crazy glue, let it dry thoroughly, and that should thicken up the handle and the posts on the fists. But for a quick and dirty fix, tape works. So overall, this guy's, like I said, 50 bucks. Might have been some shipping involved. He's a cool looking character if you're just displaying him and maybe even displaying him in box. That might be worth it. I was actually hoping because I heard someone else got one of these and opened him up and found a nice red beachcomber. And I would love a red beachcomber. Beachcomber was the first transformer I ever bought, mini bot. And uh, I loved him. Then I got more, I got addicted and oh, the money I've spent. But a cool version of Optimus Prime. Again, a couple flaws, fixable for 50 bucks. I think it's worth it, but that's a decision you'll have to make. Or you could try to find the actual Takara issued one, which I'm sure would not have the defects that this one has, but will cost you a pretty penny. So while you're deciding whether or not you need a black Optimus Prime in your life, or if you want to put Decepticon symbols here and make him into Nemesis Prime, and I believe they even have some repro stickers that can go on the trailer that have the Decepticon symbol to make the trailer a Nemesis Prime. So it's a great option. But while you're deciding, check out some more videos. Give this one a big old like. I'd very much appreciate that. Share it with some friends. If you haven't subscribed already, there's a subscribe button down there. You can hit the notification bell too. So you know when I put out new videos, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. I don't want to overload you. I know you got a lot on your plate, but we'll see you next time. And as always have fun and good hunting.